We haven't experienced anything that aggressive in a long time. Mm. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? There she blows, guys. Apparently, this is the portal to hell. Do you think it actually is haunted? Do I think it's haunted? Yeah. There's fucking satanic rituals that went on in the basement, bro. Okay, that is actually pretty creepy. Honestly, apparently Bobby Mackey's is one of the most haunted places on Earth. They say that this is one of the most evilest places that actually have demonic spirits here. Like, actual evil presence is lingering inside this building. Now, Bobby Mackey's is a bar, but it wasn't a bar before, and we're gonna get into that later inside. But what's special about this video is I actually messaged Bobby Mackey himself, the owner of the bar, and asked if he can join us for a bit in today's video and he said yes he's willing to come out so this is gonna be pretty interesting especially because ghost adventures have been here and Zach Bagans himself claims that this is the most or one of the most haunted videos or demonic evil spirits he've ever encountered in his life so it's pretty interesting we'll see what happens so uh, yeah the streets pretty empty and who would have thought one of the most haunted places on earth is sitting right here really in the middle of nowhere and it's a bar people actually come here Guys, as we're waiting for Bobby Mackey himself to arrive, we'll get into some, some quick history. First off, in 1850, this place opened up as a slaughtering house. Now, inside the basement is a well, and all the animals' guts would drain inside this well. It was the only well and the only place to actually drain these guts. 50 years later, this place actually went abandoned. But it actually, it technically, I guess, wasn't abandoned. What happened was, I guess, all these, like, occultists and all these, like, people that did satanic rituals, they all went inside the basement of this well and did it there. They would actually keep sacrificing the animals and just drain their blood into that well. And then as years went on, other various things happened. This place opened up as different businesses, but in those businesses, deaths occurred. One of those deaths was Pearl. She was pregnant and two guys actually killed her, cut her head off, and they described it as a satanic ritual and they did it inside the basement as well. A suicide happened here as well. And I guess one of the caretakers went and discovered or rediscovered the well. And I guess when he opened the well and found it, he opened a portal to hell. He actually got possessed. So a lot of things are happening here. Ghost Adventures went here and things happened to them as well. And they claim this is one of the scariest places or the scariest encounters they've ever had. We're with the Beyond the Dark crew. We're going inside. Let's see what happens. All right, so we just passed Bobby. Everyone's now here. We're coming in. Bobby Mackey. <laughs> Bobby Mackey. <laughs> Man, this is like, this is cool. It's like a blast from the past. Dude, this is awesome. This is our first time ever doing a ghost investigation in an actual like bar or restaurant. People do it. I haven't done one yet. I also want to try a theater in the, in the future, but this is really cool. Especially like I'm in like a kind of like a popular area in town. So this is like a vibe and a half right now. 1876 to 1919, this was a distillery. So the Pearl Bryan story is right smack dab in the middle of that time frame. 1919 hits, prohibition. So they tear it down. And then it becomes the Bluegrass Inn. That was kind of like a boarding house, restaurant, whatever else they wanted to do, including illegal alcohol. Then it became the Primrose. That was owned by Buck Brady. He continued the illegal alcohol and he also started the gambling. Unfortunately for him, the Cleveland Syndicate to code of this area at that time and so he was in direct competition with them so they eventually ran him out of town and they took over and it was the latin quarter and it was the latin quarter until the 70s then in the 70s it was hard rock cafe nothing to do with what we know of okay. today but it was nicknamed the bloody bucket because it was a biker bar they got in fights oh, and nice. they'd have to clean up the floor so it kind of had that nickname carl worked here during the bloody bucket days that was shut down in january of 1978 and bobby was told about this place in april of 78 so and that's when bobby took it and then it he got it ready and opened in september 1978 
1888. So when was it a like slaughterhouse? Maybe like 1850s I read? Well, Laura does a lot of our history research and stuff. Right. She says there was a slaughterhouse somewhere. We just don't know exactly where it was located. Generally this area, right. but we don't know exactly. And did they actually drain the animal guts into the well? That's the or rumors, that's, but we don't know. We can't prove it or disprove it. Okay. This is the monster room because of the sign, not because there's monsters in here. Oh, uh, okay. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> but this is where Carl Lawson's exorcism took place. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Exorcism? Yeah. Here? Yeah. In this area? Yes. What? What? <laughs> thing with Carl did he, did he lived here and he started going nuts and they think he had an exorcism like like something happened now Carl put it's up on the door still there it says go away he would also put a pull up against the door and he would sleep with a shotgun not Whoa. that any of those things would help you against any spirits but it made him feel better at least he said that he would turn everything off down here unplug it go upstairs for the night and he would hear the jukebox come on Jeez. Or That's he scary. would, it would yeah. hear like a hundred people down here, yeah. and there was no one down here. A uh, hundred people, I would, I would move out if I hear a hundred people down here. Yeah, he died in January 2012. I do believe he's still here. He couldn't leave here when he was alive. I certainly right. can't imagine that he would leave here in the afterlife either. So I think he's here trying to keep everyone safe and everything at bay. They say he may have been schizophrenic. If you're talking about paranormal back then, people thought you were yeah true. schizophrenic crazy right even though you probably weren't my thought he may have had some abilities that he didn't know about or others didn't know about so these two doorways on the sides of the stage um some people have said they've seen shadows peeking in and out of those i Ooh. have not but i have heard noises from this one over here this area was the first recorded death in 1943. This used to be the men's room. So two guys got in a fight, uh, one hit the other, and he fell back and hit his head on the radiator. Now Ooh. you might get some activity in this area. We don't know if it's from that. This is the bull room for obvious reasons. So this used to be the gambling room. So when it was Primrose and the Latin Quarter, this is where like the tables and games and stuff were right. located. Back in that corner back there is what we call the creepy corner, mainly because in that corner. The basement is down here? You have to go outside and around to get to the basement. Oh, okay. This is like a, this is like a field trip now. And here's our car, the only car here. There we are. So we're just walking to the back. It's kind of spooky back here. Railroad tracks, I think, is right there. And that is where um, the basement is. Oh, it's over here. I'm going like all the way in the back. It's right here. Oh, my bad. Yeah. I'm leading us into the darkness. <laughs> You're leading us to the train tracks. Yeah. Beyond the dark. That's true. Oh, beyond the dark. I was leading them behind the dark. <laughs> oh, I said it. I said it. I say it every episode. Well, it's almost like a barn in here. Apparently, this is the portal to hell. Supposedly, this is the portal to hell. Oh, that's the well. You can see it right there. Dang, that's nuts. Are you going to throw your voice recorder in there? Damn. I might. <laughs> so these last four doors was for the entertainers when it was the Primrose and the Latin Quarter. The first dressing room is supposedly Johanna's. She was a dancer here right. during the Latin Quarter days. Carl says he found her journal in the well when he dug it up, but he was the only one that saw it. 
unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So according to him, legend goes that she fell in love with another performer named Robert Randall, and Bobby's full name is Robert Randall Mackey. So a lot of people believe that she thinks that Bobby is her former lover come back for her. No. Anyway, she becomes pregnant. She's gonna run off to Chicago, and supposedly her father is running the place. He finds out about it, has the boyfriend killed. She's so distraught that she's going to poison her father and kill herself, and that's the end of the journal. Do you have any idea like what he did with the journal? He burned it in a fit of rage one night. How convenient. Yep. Yeah. I'm like, dude, if you would've just shown one person. Yep. Yeah, come yeah. on. No, it just kind of seems like a lie, but you don't really know. Right. And it's, you know? And, but my, and I always pose this question at all my tours. I'm like, well, then how did he know where to dig? True, true, very true. <laughs> there you go. What do you know of Pearl? Pearl. Fascinating. I mean, there's been lots and lots done on the whole case. Oh, so this is like a real, like this actual evidence and yeah. documented event. Okay, so. This is actually like a main one. This is the well. Yeah. Now this part of the building is believed to be from the Bluegrass Inn, which was a boarding house. So on the Pearl thing, she was from Greencastle, Indiana. She was in love with Scott Jackson. She becomes pregnant. She comes into town and her reasoning was thinking that Scott Jackson was going to do the nice thing, you know, the right. honorable thing, yep. and ask her to marry him. Well, he's a player, so. He had been sending her stuff trying to get her to induce an abortion, right. and it hadn't happened. So he brings her to Cincinnati. There's talk there that there may have been a botched abortion. We're not really sure, but it obviously didn't happen um so he decides he's going to kill her and so they bring her the only connection possibly is that they went past here and her body was found a couple miles south of here in the over the ridge in fort thomas they cut off her head and i know a lot of people are going to be disappointed but we don't believe that her head was thrown it down the well. It's believed that her head was put in like a satchel and taken to the dental college and incinerated. They cut off her head because that's how she would have been identified. Now, what they didn't count on is that she had shoes that were special because she was from an affluent family. She was eventually identified by her shoes. So what's the relations to this place to Pearl? Anything? So the rumors go that they brought her head here and put it down the well okay. as a sacrifice. What is left out is that this was the distillery at the time because the Pearl Bryan story was in 1896, which was smack dab in the middle of the time frame of the distillery. So how would they have gotten into the distillery? And there would have been equipment pumping up the water. Mm. How would they have gotten it down there? I think that's like the golden night is to just try to figure that out. There are a lot of like talking and various methods, REM pod, EVPs, and just kind of figure out if that ever happened or not. Also try to talk to Carl because I kind of want to talk to Carl now, so. Now really quick guys, I just want to say that this place ain't actually abandoned. Obviously people do still come here, usually on the weekends and they have their parties and things like that. It's still an active bar, but it's a haunted bar. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to get a hold of Bobby and just see if we can just do stuff with him and he's the owner and see if we can get some interesting history. And also this video, I'm trying to keep it pretty legit and like almost like a vlog format. I'm not trying to be like more TV kind of structure here, just keeping it really real. And I just wanted to just hang out and just make a fun video. So we're going with it. So uh, welcome, I appreciate you coming out. I had a few questions to ask. The first one was, did you know when you bought this bar that this could have been the most haunted bar in the US? No. No, no idea. I didn't have a clue. When I read the history online, I didn't even know anything about like the well in the basement, uh, the satanic rituals or something that could have maybe occurred. Did you know about any of those when you bought this place? No. I didn't know the history. I, I, I didn't know the site was a slaughterhouse. During your time here, have you experienced any sort of like apparitions, ghosts? No, or... I, I, I've heard lots of stories from other people and I think, well, I don't know, maybe I experienced that and didn't know it. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe you just partied hard, <laughs> sang so much that you just ignored the ghost in front of you. It's always been about the music for me. Facts. So I was so into that and so focused, nothing could have taken my attention away from it. Oh, I bet, yeah, the pat, like, yeah, you know, like, you, you, yeah, you want to so, do you're, you're just so into what you do. I'm a yeah. drummer and a guitarist, by the oh, way, so yeah. I'm totally well, into see, that. But you gotta focus them. Yeah, you, especially when it comes to music, live performances, stuff like that, you're touring, yeah. you're doing whatever, you're writing your songs. And so I actually it, read that, like, you're, you're a bit of a, a skeptic. At least I yeah, online. yeah. I'm not as hard nosed about as I used to be because I found out so many people do believe. Mm. There are more people that that believe in it than don't, and everybody wonders why I'm 
such a skeptic. Maybe some people can connect with it when others can't. Well, you you know, you being a drummer, yeah, uh, or or anybody, a, a guitar player, the brain has got to connect with with what you're doing. Your brain's got to connect with the drums. I got to connect with the guitar. Yeah. Do people connect with the paranormal? That's a great way to look at it. I've I've never even thought. Everybody of that. can't play guitar or play drums. Everybody doesn't connect with the supernatural. That's a great point. Very good point. Right. Are you still like writing music and doing your thing? Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Right here on stage every Friday and Saturday night. That's amazing. Would you say you're like a local celebrity here? Like everyone kind of... Well, you know, it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is actually cool because you're like the first time I ever interviewed anyone that owned a haunted place that said, I don't know. That's yeah. for real though. That, that's good. Usually they try to like yeah. sell a role. Or they're just they're, so uh, invested in it that like they know yeah. that that's what they believe. It's I trust this guy. I trust Bobby. <laughs> yeah. I always say I didn't start it and I can't stop it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do do you so, think yeah. do you think that because Ghost Adventures have came here that this made a, this place a lot more popular in terms of like the paranormal? Do people come every weekend? Well, you know, on the large scale, yes, but locally, no. Do any of your patrons and stuff like do they ever come in here and like ask the staff questions about the place? Like, yeah, people are always talking about it. So, do you care that people think this place is haunted? No, it doesn't bother no. you. you don't like I was see embarrassed it. about it for a long time. Mm -hmm. it, see, it started all this come out when. After 10 years in, I'd been here 10 years. Well, that was 33 years ago. So I've had a lot of time to think about it yeah. and deal with it. But in the beginning, I was kind of embarrassed about it, really. First thing I didn't want to do was run everybody off. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that, that would be the biggest thing. It's still hard for me to believe that that, that would have an impact like that. There's a book about it. Have you, have you read the book? I don't think I read the book. Uh, Doug Hensley wrote a book called Hell's Gate. It's about I the well that's in the that. basement. And yeah. You're aware of that? Yeah. Yeah, they say online that this place, you know, is the portal to hell, so. You own that. You own the bar that's the portal to hell, apparently. So that's pretty yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. It could be badass. I think it's pretty badass. I think it's pretty badass. <laughs> but like, do you, do you think, like I know you kind of just like more about, you know, your business here and the music and all that, but like when it comes to the paranormal, do you, personally believe that any of that stuff actually happened here? Well, you know, people that uh, that talk about it and have the stories are seem to very to be very sane. Right. So it's I true. can't tell them they didn't experience that. Well, right, and, and so you cool. weren't there, so you just don't know. You're just, right. you just own the place now. Yeah. You just party hard here and hang out. Well, I just play the music and... Yeah. Would you want to play a song tonight? Well, I'd be happy to. <laughs> yeah? Oh, dude, that'd be I, sick. I wrote a song about the... Yeah, I know it, yeah. Uh, you know the we song. We were jamming to your song coming here. Yeah, on the way here. We were I legit listening to the song. Yeah, yeah, dead ass. I swear to God, we were jamming to your song coming here. Yeah. You yeah. want to know if you'll come down and sing a song? That's what the message uh, I got. Dude, that's so good. But this is awesome. And we have, you know, Bobby and Bobby Mackey's. How you want to do this? Your usual. Uh -huh. like, however you do it. This well, is sick. I can't even... Doing. Doing. Dude, oh, this is so yeah. sick. Johanna, Johanna, are you really here? Looking for your lover after all these years. Johanna, Johanna, are you really here? Has your lover returned after all these years? Has your lover returned after all these years? Yo, that was good, dude. Thank you. That was so good. We were jamming to that exact song on the way. Here. Yeah, 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 dude. It sounds the same. Like, it does. Usually, you know, you know, there's like auto tune and stuff. He sounds literally the same. I wrote, same it, I wrote it in 1989. I've sung it a lot since then. That's dude, amazing. no, that is good. Yeah. Seriously, thank you so much for performing. Thanks. Thank you Thanks for coming out. I thank really appreciate so it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Yeah. So our guide is leaving and is sitting in the car. <laughs> she's not going anywhere, but she's gonna wait for us. It is just us now. We're done the tour. We're the only ones in Bobby Mackey's bar. Woo! We can be as loud as we want. No one's here. So guys, I'm thinking, and we were just talking about off camera, we should start off in Carl's actual apartment. Nobody shut the door. Oops. All right, guys, so as you just seen a second ago, the tour guide has just left. We're all together. It's literally just us in the entire place of Bobby Mackey's. We're starting off the investigation, going up to Carl's room. We're gonna just work our way down, saving the well and everything for last. Don't know what to expect. Hopefully Seth does get possessed. 100,000 likes and we come back if he gets possessed. What do you think? <laughs> what? Well, the thing about Carl is that he actually was possessed though and there was an exorcism done here. Yeah. Jesus, this place looks horrible. 
Dude, his sign is still up that says go away. Really? Yes. Oh crap, it is. Holy fuck. Might not have been polite to just throw his fucking door open, but yeah, okay. That's true. This is insane. This place is no joke. Look at this, memorials. Hey, what are the numbers on that one? Dollar bills, cigarettes. Yeah, what the hell? All right, so what we'll do now is we'll set up some stuff and kind of just jump into this investigation. I'm gonna keep my camera here, Seth, yeah. as an overview, and we'll keep yours running the whole time for us as first person. Sounds so good. So it'll be really good. Carl, I know what it's like to live in a, a haunted location by yourself. It can be very overwhelming. We'd really like to talk to you. We'd really like to talk to you. Go away. Hang on, go away now? Hang on. Carl, is it true that you were possessed by a demonic entity? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Holy fuck. Are you still scared to be here? Are you still scared to be here? Holy shit, dude. I think he answered every single question. He literally, whoever it is, is next to us. It's talking back to us, but it's not talking directly into it. So that's why we're not picking it up. But that sounds crazy. But we're getting crazy. We absolutely heard when I asked if he's been possessed by a demonic and it was entity. Yes, he clear said as day. yes. For John's, when he said like I live here, I, I've lived in a, a haunted place. After that, you guys heard a yes. I feel like I heard like you don't understand. Carl, I know what it's like to live in a, a haunted location by yourself. It can be very overwhelming. Carl, I know what it's like to live in a, a haunted location by yourself. It can be very overwhelming. Yeah. And I also heard go away now at one point, but I'm not sure. It's tough to say. Yeah. It's, it's hard to we hear. We gotta do another one. That is nuts. We need to like emphasize to be more clear. Into the microphone. Yeah. We can definitely do one more. Oh, Yo, yeah. maybe a few. Yeah, this is crazy. Let's do it. He's yeah. I think it's picking up your voice. You saw it. When, it turn, when it's picking up your voice, it turns red completely. I don't like. I don't like. Dick. 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 <laughs> Carl, is it okay that we're in your house? No. Oh, oh. God. Do you want us to go to the well? That's right. Is there something that we should be afraid of here? Carl. Carl. That was a clear Carl. That was a good okay, Carl. Where's Carl right now? Is he downstairs? Demon. 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 Dead. Demon. Yeah, me too. Alright, we're gonna say goodbye, okay? Goodbye. Hey! Thank you for talking to us, Carl. I mean, right now, dude, they could all be chilling by the well and we don't know it yet. We still have the bowl. We should check that corner out. Let's try doing stuff like that. Yeah. Alright. Let's head back. So, again, nothing too crazy, obviously, but it still was a start to something. Those EVPs were there. We just couldn't make them out. Someone was trying to talk. I smell like rotten eggs here. Yeah, you can smell it. You don't smell around here? This here, right here, I'm smelling. You don't smell the rotten eggs. Yeah. It smells bad. It does? Yeah. Horrible. Josh, did you... Oh, what the fuck? You, it actually does smell like that. Yeah. It literally it, smells like rotten eggs. There's rotten egg smells here, and they say that's a sign of a demon. All right, well, that's a, that's not a good sign right off the bat. Johanna, are you here? Or Pearl? Johanna, are you here? Yeah. I'm here. Whoa. I'm here, That's yes. Dude, that was clear as fuck. Can you give us a sign? Where is Johanna? God damn it, John. Oh. It's really cold over here. Uh oh. Like ice, guys. Ice cold? Yeah, like ice just came right through here. It actually is a bit colder over here. Holy shit. It's like they're like checking out what you have in here. Yeah, they're like yeah. looking at our gear like, oh, so uh, what's, what, what equipment do you guys want to trip off tonight? Like, what is this weird shit? If somebody just whistled, can you whistle again? What the fuck was 
that? What? A cue ball. What the fuck? Where did that come from? That was a thousand percent not me. I was where just the, fixing my whole freaking where the hell did uh, tripod. It come from? What the fuck? Where did it come from? Like you guys definitely seen that. There's not even a pool like, table over well, here. I heard a noise a second ago, just over there. Where did that come? There's not even a pool table over here. Where did that come from? I don't know. Dude. Was it sitting on top of the Bud Light somewhere? Dude, I wish I was. Oh there. my God. I've seen this whole fucking thing. I was thing. over here just like standing here when it happened. You guys I was see like that this. I was just sick fixing. Yeah, this, yeah, like, no, you were you I were just fixing like your camera. And I just asked for a whistle, not for a Sorry. pool ball to be thrown at me. Where did that come from? I'm, <laughs> dude, I'm serious. That's kind of scary. Where did that come from? From way down Please. there? I think you all I've seen on nights at one of the pool tables. One, that's it. So just sitting there. That one that downstairs that, that is on that table I is gone. I never paid attention to it. Dude. It was in the back right corner. Yeah, just, okay. just sitting there. Yo, Do you mean, know, you know what's crazy? It's like we had so much shit thrown at us over the last like three months that I'm not seriously. even like phased that that ball's here. They said they know where their cue ball was, so we're gonna check if that was the one that got took in. We're gonna look there and we're gonna go in the basement. We have literally an hour left here in Bobby's. There actually is no cue ball on this table anymore. Where was the cue ball? It was. Right. On this one? Here. You don't smell around here? This theater right here that I'm smelling. You don't smell the rotten eggs. Yeah. That smells bad. It does. Yeah. Horrible. Josh, did you... It's not in the pocket, is it? It's uh, it pocket pocket. would have slid. No. So that means they picked up the cue ball. They picked up this cue ball and brought it all the way across Holy the place. Holy fuck. This is on the ground, though. So, I mean, that's definitely pretty nuts yeah dude that's like, that's yeah, fucking like, I thought it came to you guys, no? that's creepy i don't even know what direction it got thrown in i was i was so busy Shh. with it i heard that yeah it was like another whistle yeah, that was a voice you heard a voice really you heard three different things all at once holy shit all right so what do we do try, listen do we do we start over here, because as soon as we came over happen. here, something started getting thrown at us and shit. I, I really think if we're gonna start anywhere, we should start here. Yeah, I want to. All right, no, no more cutting clips. We're staying recording for the rest of the fucking night. <laughs> so this is weird. ridiculous. A real life exorcism happened right here where we're standing. There's a literal video of it on the internet. Dude, I'm getting chills. Me too. I just. I don't like it over here. I don't like breezy. Here. It's like, a, like breezy. It's very cold here, yeah. What? Like what whistle. That? that was a whistle. Straight up. We all heard that. Even the camera had to have picked that up. Who threw the pool ball? Do you hear voices? Yes. I'm hearing noises. Physical movement almost. Yeah, over in that direction. Is it true there was an exorcism here? Can you touch one of our devices to prove it? Or make a noise? What was that? Is that your stomach? No, that was like a dragging or something over here and yeah. like right in, right in this corner. I want to talk it up to be a car because I heard it too. I don't, I don't know. Who threw the pool ball? Do you not like us here? I just tapped on the recorder. Something just tapped the recorder. Did you we, hear it? Dude? Yeah. I've never seen, heard it. Holy fuck. Who was that? That doesn't happen. That's, that's nuts. I've never heard anything yeah, tap I've never, like that. I've never seen a tap ever, like a tap on our device. That that's the nuts. first, first time. Pool ball's kind of dangerous too. Something's out here. Don't know what though. Kind of want to go in the basement. Me too. <laughs> it's literally about a bit near midnight. Whoa. Oh, shit. All right. It's actually warmer in the basement than I it is upstairs. Dizzy. Did you? Dizzy? Are you okay? Yeah, it's just as soon as I came in here, I just like. That's kind of good. I felt that. No, it's, it's not good. Not good. It fell over. All right. I'm going to put something right here. i drop this again. Rest. Rest close. Mm. I'm going to put. Whoa. Bro. Whoa, 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 bro. whoa, whoa. I got that. I got it. Holy shit. First time, someone's touched it. Who's here with us? It's okay that you touch that device. We we want you to touch it again so that we know you're here. It was like they were curious. I'm gonna put the that on it. Can you go near the well again? Can you touch that device? Was Pearl's head in the well? What is that? I'm hearing like a step. 
Yeah, out there. What the fuck was that? What was what? That, there was a fucking shuffle out there. Something just got dragged. Yep. There it goes again. Is there any demonic entity around us right now? Here, maybe in this room? I heard footsteps. Me too. I can tell this water. Mm -hmm. It could be water. Yeah. Go get him, Josh. Oh, it's a, it's a water drop. Yeah, that's what Casey is. All right. At least we debunked that. We just see Josh get thrown into the well. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He's like holding up the door. I would literally just leave. <laughs> I, I wouldn't even, I don't even think I'd try to save him. We'll take over your YouTube channel, it's okay. Yeah, but you know what really went off was the freaking REM pod. No, for real. That was for a minute, for really quick, but it really did go off. And no, but I actually did hear a noise out there. Can anyone stand in front of the well for me? I have a device in front of it. I just want to know that you're here. What? Holy fuck. What just happened? They stood in front of it. And you know damn well that has been going off for the last three yeah, videos. Yeah. Dude, I'm actually scared now. Because we know it, it works. Like, it never works. If you want to talk to us... Probably just jumped in the freaking well. Yo, we gotta get the EVPs going. Yeah. This is for real. There's really a portal in that well. Can you come say portal into the red light? What went on down here? Were there a good, a lot of bad things happening down here? What the fuck was that? Bro, that's behind you. No. Yes, it was. No. Yes, it was. That was the biggest push against the wall. Uh, holy fuck. That was really fucking scary. No one caught it because it was behind you. Dude, I just looked and I, I felt the whole wall shake. What went on down here? Were there good... A lot of bad things happening down here. What the fuck is that? What the uh, fuck? That's behind you. No. Yes, it was. No. Yes, it was. Dude, my heart's fucking pounding. I can, oh, I can barely even catch my breath. Dude, right my now. whole, my whole. Holy I know. Fuck. I know. That is so. The that is really. I I know. Dude, I don't know if I want to do this in night vision anymore. I'm fucking scared. Dude, Dude like. Dude, and you know it's legit because you and I both rocketed no. it up. I I I I've seen it. I watched it. It was the scariest fucking thing. It was a force. Like a wind, almost like a, a huge, like... Dude, I've never felt anything like that before. Holy fuck. On God, on everything, that was seriously... I, I, I'm gonna start holding my camera at the same time. I've never seen it. The whole wall just shaked all at once. You guys had no idea because you guys are looking at me. You felt it, but I'm watching you guys. Yeah. It was all behind you. There's no explanation. No. None. No, that was really scary. Like, when does it think that That was powerful. Feel, but that was like... That was powerful. That's what it was. You could feel like the room moving. Yeah. The same time. And like yeah. John said, this is completely a concrete foundation. There's no reason There's... that this should move like that. Holy shit. You want me to play this back? Yeah, actually, yeah. Play God that. only knows what it says. <laughs> play that back. You can hear us all freaking out. <laughs> Portal or I heard a whisper at, at the beginning. You hear a voice right before yes, it happens. Yes, you do. Yeah, I do. You do. There's all kinds of voices in between ours and that. Dude, I'm still like, I have a I'm, headache from because I'm nervous from this. Like I'm actually nervous, I'm cold, I'm shivering, my head hurts. That is scary. That was so fucking scary. So fucking I say we have to keep going, but like, if anything cra if anything like that happened again, I will I will stop, for real. If any push like that again, I'm, I'm out of here. Yeah. But we still have a little bit of time left. When we asked it to jump into the well or go next to the well, the music box went off because it really did go next to the well. So someone is here. And I don't know if there's more than one, but someone's here. Do you want us to leave? Give us a sign if you want us to leave. It just got colder. Like right here next to me. I feel the coldness. I feel it. Dude, that tingly sensation that you say that you felt on your face at Waverly, I'm yeah. feeling it like all over this side of my body right now. He could be right over us, dude, no, or I'm she. I'm feeling it too with my hands. 
Who's here with us? Can you stand in front of the well again for me? Please make yourself known. Should we try to like reenact what happened? Like go in the same areas we were in when it happened? I don't know if I could handle that again. You would have to go next to the walls if you want to do a reenactment. <laughs> This time I'm keeping my thing on record. Oh my god. Yeah, over here. Yep, you were doing an EVP. <sighs> Who's down here with us? You got our attention now. Is it true that this place was used for satanic rituals? Was anyone killed down here? My IR light just died. Wait a sec. Okay, I got this one. Alright. I'm still recording. I'm not cutting this. It happened again. It just happened again. Holy fuck. It's moving to show you. It's still moving. Holy fuck. But dude, that's the thing. It's so crazy that it's vibrating this. And it's right when you said do it again. Right when you stood up. Holy fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> I caught that on camera too. Wait. But it's saying a whole bunch of stuff. You have yeah, to listen. Yeah. It's like it's trying to like distract us from listening. That's a yes. Oh my That's a loud growling God. yes when he has both satanic rituals. Dude. It's like yes. I don't know. I, it's actually like kind of scary. The cue ball dude. like. That's a yes. That's a yes when you're Dude. asking demonic rituals. But like it's actually scary. They have force whoever's here. It's not even like a ghost anymore. Be that person either, but I think I just got scratched. Stop. Did you? No, you didn't. It That's just so happened. Hang on, stay right there, stay right there. I gotta take this off night shot so I can see. Oh wait, yeah, it's coming now. Dude, I can literally yeah. see it. What a weird spot to get scratched, but you you really did. This is the first time I've even seen someone get scratched in person. Dude, I don't even know if we Are should they, be here targeting anymore. Targeting me? Because like the cue ball. You've been targeted. Maybe we should move to another area. I, I don't know if I can do this anymore. I'm freaking out. All right, all right. So, you know, we're... Oh, my God. We're getting out of this room. Yeah, we are. And we are going to go to the um, dressers. Yeah, the dressers. Um, I, I can't even fucking talk. This yeah, is, I can't. This... I've... We... Ne I've The force, the, the pool balls. This is actually definitely angry. Well, welcome to Bobby Mackey's. We haven't experienced anything that aggressive in a long time. Mm -hmm. I don't think we ever did. I don't know. I don't, I don't think know. We've ever it's, did. That was fucking insane. I could never come in here and do a solo challenge. No. Oh, and you, you, no no way. way. All right, so we're going to have a device in each of these doorways, literally, and we're going to see what's, what can happen. Um, just so you know, music box, REM pod in one, and the geophone in the other. Detects vibrations, can do almost the same thing as a REM pod. This has been a crazy experience so far. <laughs> if there's anyone here in any of these dressing rooms, can you touch one of the devices, these objects that are in front of the doorways, so I know which one you're in? I'm gonna do a long one. Yeah. Keep your let me out. Johanna, if you're in there, say your name. Pearl's dead. Pearl's dead? It just said Pearl's dead. And it, then it said yes. And then it said it again. Holy fuck. Pearl. If you're in that room, say your name. Pearl's gone. Yeah, her pearl's gone. What did that just say? Come out, bitch. Come out. Yeah, come out, bitch. I heard it, bitch. Is Joanna here? Joanna, if you're here, if you say your name. I'm glad we're leaving soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm happy that we're leaving because I do feel scared. Can I come in your room? Who's in here with me?
Dude, That's we could crazy. literally. Yeah, I actually heard whispers, like we all did. Yeah, like down legit here. down here. Get out. No? What the fuck is that? You can't even make out what it says. I'm actually kind of freaked out. I'm fucking like, terrified, I man. I leave right now, and I don't care how much I pay to come here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. It's just so, it's, it's, it might be in my head mental, but I don't know. It just freaks me out. I'm having bad vibes here. Also, ain't it weird, just pointing this out, ain't it weird how we'd, we're not hearing any more bangs in that room? Right. Because you would hear them from here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how loud they were. So it's, I'm just saying. That's a good point. Yeah, I'm just putting that out there. Dude, here. they were definitely messing with us. Oh, 100%. They like totally Like going yeah. back and forth. Yeah. All right, guys. Four Ooh. hours of Bobby Mackey. We had him perform for us. We interviewed him. That he doesn't awesome. even really believe in ghosts. Apparently, you can just tell by the interview. He doesn't care. So no. he's not trying to amp this place up. We all know that. He's just doing his thing. We've had her finger get scratched, a cue ball almost, I think, thrown at her. Yeah. Which we don't know how. We've had noises, a lot of EVPs the whole time. What well, we can't make them out. Right. We had to talk about Carl upstairs a little bit. Said his name. Oh like yeah, that. you write in the spirit box. It did say when I asked, you know, was Carl possessed by a demonic entity? It said oh yes, yes in, in the creepiest yes. That's true. We had Pearl in the spirit box. They Pearls here or something a lot. Pearls yeah. dead. Things like that. But then the craziest thing of this whole night that still baffles me, that's actually scary and freaked me out, yep. is the whole freaking room shakes and then the music box goes off. Not multiple once, times. but multiple times. A coincidence? No way. That's insane. That yeah. is literally insane. This place has some definitely uh, scariness to it. Could be demonic, could be anything, but it probably is. I think this place is actually freaking scary. I would never live here. 100%. Would you guys live here? Hell no. I mean, he did live in the Conjuring house, so there's a chance he might. I don't know. I give you a month, bro, before you go insane. On God. I really That's think it's true. Place, yeah, I, mean, I really think of the way Carl lived. Yeah, Carl had a door that said, Keep out. I mean, it's no joke. I could not, I, would, I think we would get eaten alive. And Seth asked about there were satanic rituals and it said yes in oh, the creepiest voice. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. Yo, you see, like, there's just, like, there's always so much happening at once. Yeah, you can't, yeah, remember, you can't remember everything. It goes by really quick and your adrenaline rushes up there. But that's why we. What the I'm hell sure ignore that? that. We're getting out of here. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Check out everyone's channels. You know, I have a second channel and a third channel. Check those out. Link in the description down below. Also, check out the merch. I'm wearing the original Nara Dreamland. Link in the description down below, guys. So, thanks so much for watching this episode of Beyond the Dark. We went to Bobby Mackey's. We did a good job. So, check them out. Yep. Peace. Thanks for watching. Rise above. We're out of here. I can't even say my line. I just want to get out. Yep. Ah. <laughs>